Uh, just was wondering, uh, this tournament is, is pretty different in terms of how valuable it gets. Uh, and Brooks Kepka was saying that it kind of keeps him on his toes a little bit in terms of like, you know, he feels like he should be booed if he hits a bad shot. What's your take on all that? How does it, how does it sort of make you feel or how does it, how is it different from, from a week in, week out? Yeah, um, it feels obviously a little more important on 16, although it's really not. Um, and today, making a two there, making like a 20-footer, it felt really good. Different than some of the other 20-footers I made today for birdie. And what's like the best get-up that you saw out there today, uh, either on 16 or somewhere else, the best costume? And, and was there anything memorable said out there today that sort of rose above the din? No, I, I didn't really pay attention to much of that. I didn't see any costumes or hear anything too crazy. It just, with the music playing and all the people yelling, it just sounds like a dull roar in the background. Patrick, what took you so long to play this tournament? Uh, I think I just play a lot on the West Coast, and so this was the odd one out. Um, you know, this one, this year, sandwiched in between uh, two tournaments I was playing, and so opposed to going back east home, I just decided to stay out and play three in a row. Okay, and then... Uh, what what did what was working for you today? I drove the ball and putted really well today, and um, you know I I didn't I didn't hit a lot of great iron shots, but I hit a couple close um, coming down the stretch on six, I believe. Um, you know when you're when I'm when the greens are this good and you can get in a nice rhythm, you can make a bunch of putts out there. And today I did. How far in advance do you wake up for an early tee time? Um. I mean, you know, three hours or so. And then how much of it is physically warming up before you start hitting golf shots? Um, you know, I work with my PT in the morning and then do an active, and so I'm about an hour. And then to steal a question from Adam here, do you know what you're ranked in the world right now? Uh, top five, but I think I think Victor jumped me. So you're, you're fourth. Fourth. Do you pay attention to it? I mean, obviously not that closely. but uh, I do pay attention, um, but obviously not like a hawk. Um, I think... Um, it's a good marker, but nothing to get caught up in day to day. And then your string of results is obviously super impressive so far. Do you feel like you're playing maybe the best golf of your life? Um, hard to say anything different, tracing back to end of summer. Um, you know, I'm playing really well right now. My body feels good. And um, I'm hitting it where I'm looking and making some putts. And so, um, yeah, I, I'm playing well right now, and um, it's fun to be out here. Uh, you put yourself in a good position headed into the weekend. What do you need to do Saturday, Sunday, so that you will be on top of the leaderboard at the end of the day? Yeah, more of the same of what I've been doing. I, I still feel like I'm learning the golf course a little bit. Um, this was really only my third trip around today. And so as I get more and more comfortable with the lines off the tee, um, you know, I think the key to this golf course is driving the ball in the fairway. And then your two playing partners today, Hideki, um, and JT, how do you feed off them and how do they feed off you throughout a round? I've played with Hideki a, a good amount and then I play with JT a lot at home mm -hmm. in Jupiter and he's been a, a, a great friend of mine for a number of years. We played junior golf together and so, um, you know, it's just like playing around at home in, in Jupe. Awesome, thank you. Went out early today. Yesterday you were on the back half of the day. Can you just compare and contrast the conditions out there and how your round went today versus yesterday? Yeah, I think we got the better side of the wave uh, with less wind, and so that's obviously really key. Um, sometimes it's nice when you're playing well to get feel like you don't really have a break. You're just out on the golf course the whole time and not have that early and then late, late tee time. So uh, I think we definitely had a benefit being on that side of the draw, and then I played well and was able to carry the momentum through the 36 holes. So, Patrick, you played pretty well today. If there's one thing you could take away that you want to work on, what would it be? I think I could have played a little better from the fairway. You know, I hit a couple wedge shots, um, not exactly how I'd like. And so distance control out here is a little tough with uh, elevation. And uh, I'll just dial that in a little bit over the weekend. Is the heat affecting you at all? Because it's a little bit warmer than most years that we have it out here. Is it a factor at all? I wouldn't say. Uh, it's pretty nice, actually, <laughs> to be honest. I mean, not very much wind and 78 degrees is perfect. Well, good luck this weekend. Thank you. Thanks. Was 16 what you expected it to be? Yeah, I mean it feels, um, you know, it feels like an amphitheater in there, and um, you know everyone's pretty pretty loose and having a good time. I can only imagine what it would be this afternoon around four or five o'clock. Thank you, Patrick. All right, thanks. Good.